Hello, Mrs. Petrakis here again talking about Sunday School. It's week three and we're talking about Abraham and Sarah and a story about them today. And I'm pretending to be Sarah. So I made myself a tent with two chairs and a sheet over them because Sarah and Abraham lived in a tent a long, long, long time ago. And Sarah was in a tent, like probably not very similar to this, but she was in a tent when she heard some news that made her laugh. And so I'm gonna be reading you a story about that. One day God said to a man named Abram, it's time for you to leave your family and home and go to a new land. In this new land, I will give you many things and make sure people know about you. I will be kind to those who are kind to you. To the ones who are unkind, I will be unkind. Because of you, all the families on earth will be blessed. Abram was 75 years old and had a long white beard, but he didn't let his age stop him. On his trip, Abram took his wife Sarai and his nephew Lot. They walked the many miles leading to the new land. It was a hot and dusty trip, but Abram knew that where God was leading them would be a beautiful place. The trip was long and hard, because they carried all their pots and pans, dishes, and clothes with them. Phew, I'm hot, said Sarai, as her face grew red. I'm getting kind of tired, sighed Abram. My feet hurt, groaned Lot. When they finally got to the land of Canaan, Abram stopped by a tall and shady oak tree. It felt good to get out of the blazing sun. God came to him there in the cool shade and said, I have a surprise for you. I promise to give this land to your family forever. Abram and Sarai and Lot were so thankful to God for this wonderful gift, they jumped and danced and hugged each other and shouted, Hooray! To show God how grateful they were, Abram decided to build two altars to honor God. He would build one altar out of a large, smooth stone by the tree and the other altar out of pieces of wood by his tent in the hills. God's Promises to Abram God came to Abram and made a promise. Abram, you are very special to me. I will take care of you and give you lots of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But Abram asked God many times, Are you sure? I don't have any children yet. God thought Abram needed something more to help him understand. So God took Abram outside and showed him the night sky. Your family will include as many people as there are stars in the sky, God told Abram. Abram stared up at all those stars. He couldn't begin to count all those twinkling lights. Stars and stars and stars all around him. Abram looked up at the stars and saw God at work. Abram believed God. Now for another promise, said God to Abram. You will need a place for your huge family to live. I will give you this land as I promised. Are you sure, God? Abram asked again. God made a covenant with Abram, a promise that Abram would become a father and a grandfather and a great-grandfather and a great-great-grandfather and a great-great-great-grandfather and on and on. And all Abram's many, many sons, daughters, grandsons, and granddaughters would live with God in the land on which Abram stood. Abraham and Sarah's Visitors When Abram was 99 years old, he and his wife Sarai were still waiting for God's promise of a huge family to come true. Abram was getting frustrated. He asked God, What are you waiting for? God spoke to Abram, I will keep my promise and I will change your names. Instead of Abram, your name will be Abraham. Instead of Sarai, your wife will be Sarah. Abram was afraid of what God said. He thought he was too old to become the father of so many people, and his wife was too old to have children. He fell on his face and peeked up with one eye. Could God really make such a thing happen? Later, as Abraham was sitting by the tent, he saw three strangers walking towards him. Abraham squinted into the sun and wondered who could be visiting him on such a hot day. Hi, Abraham said when they arrived. You must be tired from traveling. Would you like to sit down to rest and have some food? 
Quickly, Abraham asked Sarah to make some bread. He asked his servant to prepare some meat. Sarah stood hiding in the tent, listening to the visitors. Who were they? Why had they come to her house? And why were they talking about her? She leaned in a little closer. Your wife, Sarah, will have a son, the visitor said to Abraham. Sarah started to laugh. Didn't they know that she was too old to have a child? The visitors looked up. Why is Sarah laughing, they asked. Doesn't she believe God's promise will happen? God's promise to Abraham did happen. Sarah had a baby boy and named him Isaac, which means laughter. Abraham and Sarah's family grew and grew and grew, and God blessed each generation with laughter and happiness.